Hey ladies, this is a faux tapered look that I had done a couple days ago. You know, a few bobby pins here and there, but I'll tell y'all about that later. Now I have to actually moisturize my hair and trust me, it's going to be hard because I don't have shea butter and things like that. But I'm going to show y'all how I did it with conditioner and water. Here it goes. The conditioner I'm going to use, I'm not actually going to shampoo or wash my hair because I did that about a week ago. But I'm going to use this conditioner because it says it's for naturals. Yeah, it says that. We'll see because I am 4C natural and anything you want to test and you want to see if it's for natural, you do it on 4C hair and it might work out. But first, I got to moisturize my hair. And no, y'all, I do not have a spray bottle. I'm starting over with new things and everything. Yes, I'm a part of Naturals Anonymous. I do not have any products to actually do my hair right now. And this will actually be the first time that I use a curling custard in my hair. So I wet my hair. I kind of drenched it, to be honest, where it was dripping. I added some conditioner to it, not a little bit. I added a whole lot because my hair was crunchy. You know how when you do your hair and it be like, and it can break combs? That's how you know you done messed up. But I'm rubbing it in between my fingers and I'll course it through my hair. I said course. I'm going to rub it through my hair. Let me correct that. So I'm going to rub it through my hair and get it as moisturized as possible. I'm not going to let this sit how a deep conditioner would normally sit. And that's only because we had somewhere to go, which I did not make, which I was late for. And I thought this was an easy uh, thing to do for my hair. I was going to do a wash and go, but turns out the wash did not go. But I'm going to get in the shower and I'm going to wash this out. This is my one hand rake through method. It's called hold the camera and wash your hair at the same time. Well, rinse your hair at the same time. I tried to zoom in and show y'all a little bit, but you know, I got to close that curtain so y'all can't see my thing thing. But when I got out of the shower, I didn't want to actually dry my hair off because it would just dry my hair back out. So what I did was show y'all my curls first of all. You see the 4C curls? You see the thing right there? Yeah. The thing beautiful. Yeah. No, I just look like, well, who I look like? I look like, what's his name? It's not uh, Nat Turner. What's his name? Dude with the, um, Frederick Douglass. That's who I look like. So since I don't have my oils in the bathroom with me, I'm going to put a handful of island oil in there. And I'm going to uh, lather my hair with it. I really don't know if this is any good for your hair, but I had it when I had locks in my hair. And it actually kept them moisturized, so I wanted to put this in my hair to add a little moisture. Usually you do the lock method, the L-O-C method, but I did not have any shea butter or any of my other stuff with me. So I'm just going to use this. And to be honest, it worked. It made it shiny and it smells good. And I'm going to use this Eco, I don't know the exact name of it, this Eco cocktail stuff, some stuff I use for my mama. Yes, I'm cheap, y'all. So I'm going to open it up right here and I'm going to get some spillage. Of course, you can't leave no product, product behind. Of course, you can't. I can't do that because, again, I'm cheap. So I'm going to put it in my hair and turns out as I'm raking this through my hair and I'm making weird faces, I put too much in my hair and I did it on too wet of hair. I don't know how this stuff is supposed to work. It actually feels like it is very thin and I have 4C hair so of course you can't use really thin product on your hair. Having 4C hair that's the reason why I use shea butter and castor oil, a thick oil and a thick uh, solid but as you can tell it looks like a gray in the front of my hair and it's not. It's product. It is too much product in my hair right now and I'm thinking oh it's gonna have my curls popping. No. They was not popping. They were sitting on the bench looking at me mad because I ain't put them in the game. But right here, I'm doing what they call raking, where you're supposed to uh, separate your hair slowly and your curls bounce back. Now, my curls did bounce back, but the problem with this was, first of all, I got too much hair. Secondly, I'm 4C hair. Thirdly, I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm not going to sit here and do this to my whole head and it don't work out. And then I had to finger detangle instead so I can actually put my hair into the style that I was going to end up putting it in instead of actually uh finger raking my hair and it comes out in a curly fro so i de decided to put my hair into puffs but the hard part about that was i actually had to comb through and detangle my hair instead of just finger detangling first of all my nails be breaking when i do that and i know 4c natural girls know the problem of your hair cutting your fingers this is the hair that i actually had lost um, I'm going to show you all together the hair that I had lost when I did it and I hadn't detangled my hair for a while probably for a couple days and this is how much it was. It seemed like a lot but it's not. When I took my locks out it was a uh, Dorito bag full, family size Dorito bag full so it was a whole lot in there. So I'm going to part my hair down the middle. I would have done it with my fingers but it wouldn't have been as straight. I did make it pretty straight. I did part the seat like Noah. Hold on, hold on, stop the music. Y'all know I was wrong when I said Noah. I meant Moses. Y'all just gonna let me mess up like that. Come on, have some dignity. 
but I'm gonna use this edge gel this olive miracle edge gel I can't even get that out I'm gonna use that because it's pretty tacky and it might hold my hair in place not forever because I actually need to like I said I'm investing my hair now I decided to start actually take care of my hair I've been natural since 2009 and I don't really even know how I stayed natural that long without doing a lot to my hair I had my hair in locks for almost a year and so my hair had actually locked but now I actually got to keep it moisturized and take care of it and as soon as I started taking care of it and had it moisturized guess what I did I put shea butter in the car now y'all know that you're not supposed to put shea butter in the car because shea butter is solid and it's gonna turn into oil and then I spilt it all over the car I'm just so clumsy so uh, don't follow my trend of any of this this is not a hair tutorial this is just me showing y'all me doing my hair because I am on a journey to actually grow my hair it's grown pretty long even though it has a lot of shrinkage this is the first time in my adult life that I can actually put my hair in a real ponytail not just a, a pineapple where it's partially the band going up your head now nah, this is like where i can actually put something on my hair and actually have a ponytail so i decided to put two puffs in my hair because that's my go-to style but i'm dealing with phantom edges y'all i don't know if y'all know what that is but phantom edges is pretty much where you have edges on the outside but as soon as you flash that camera you could tell that you got bald spots on the inside i think that actually came from uh, after we had our daughter my edges you know how people have their temples that um start to fall out yeah i think my head fell out and i'm just now noticing it but i did like i said when i took my locks out i did lose a lot of hair but this is me showing y'all first of all my boo thing is recording this but this is me showing y'all my puffs and how they came out i'm out here looking like lady rage i rock rough and stuff in my afro puff you know back in the day afro puff was a thing I'm but yeah thank y'all for watching this is my first voiceover thank y'all for watching again girl power slash peace ladies please go check out my last video thank y'all for watching comment like subscribe and again thank y'all for watching deuces